Hi, this is a quick video for teachers and other staff who may have deleted their class materials folder in Teams. OK, now what I'm talking about here is pick a team, go to the general tab, go to files, and then normally you would see class materials. If you've deleted that folder, you might want to create a new one because it's got some special properties about security. I'm not going to cover that in this video. I'll keep it short, uh, but I have posted a video before about file security anyway. If you've deleted your class materials folder and you want to create a new one, then it's really easy to do. You go on to add cloud storage, not new, OK, because first of all, I thought new folder, that would be the obvious thing. But no, click add cloud storage. And in the school I'm working at, uh, we only have the option for SharePoint. So that's one. Now, you might have some other option, but um, SharePoint's the one for us. Then click class materials. And it says we can't find class materials for your class. Do you want to create it? And I'm going to say yes. And then so there it is. OK, now you'll notice that the class materials icon there is slightly different from other folders I've created there. It signifies that it is special. It does have some special properties. If you don't uh, understand that fully or even you don't, haven't got any idea what the difference is, I suggest that you put your files into class materials and not into other folders, because if you put them into other folders, you can sometimes come unstuck because uh, the default uh, security settings might allow students to modify your files. So Class materials is probably the one to start with. OK, that's it for the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, um, please give it a thumbs up. I know you can't do that when you're at school, but if you're watching it from elsewhere, that would be great. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.